Hi, welcome back. Today we are discussing this Zabbix dashboard. What is the meaning of this monitoring? What is the meaning of configuration? And what is host in configuration? What is template in host configuration? What is host group? And uh, what is monitoring? What is web? What is latest data? What is trigger? What is events? What is graph? So the overview of this dashboard we are going to do today. So for this, uh, you should have a Zabbix installed on your local or on your server. So if you don't have yet, please click on the I button above and uh, you can get my previous video how to install Zabbix agent. Let's move in monitoring tab. We can uh, check our uh, alerts. For example, we can we want to monitor web alerts and probably here. This is the window for web alerts. If you will get any web alert, you will check from here. OK, so let's go back for now and you can move these dashboards. For example, you want to put web monitoring above. You can do that. You want to move web monitoring at the top. You can do that. Put 20 issues in the left. OK, you can do that. And uh, the main thing is uh, this is a little bit of customizable and you can do whatever you want and uh, the host status is more important than this. So let's put it above. So in short, you can uh, bring wherever you want your uh, tiles. So let's uh, move to the configuration part first so that it would be clear uh, in configuration part this is host group for example you have uh, three departments one is working on application one is working on games one is uh, working on websites so you can create groups here so that for example this is discovery host Linux server Windows server so kind of groups you can make and in template you can create a template or you can use the uh, predefined template uh, by Zabbix uh, what is the use of template uh, for example, uh, you have 100 servers and you want a single alert to configure on all of them. So you can do this using template. And uh, if you are not aware of how to do this, please click on I button above and you would be redirected to my template video. And uh, there you can see. But before that, you should know the basic. And uh, basic is also covered in previous videos and uh, you can also click on the i button above for that video or you can also check in my playlist of zabbix tutorial and uh, and th then there is host host is what uh, which we add for example this is your zabbix server and now you want to monitor five linux server on which your games uh, android apps or whatever is uh, live and so you have to create host and when we you create host you will add host here and extra details here uh, so that it, this host will be able to monitor here and how to do this please for for that please click on the above video so that you can uh, do it very step by step and uh, you will not face any issue in case you face then please let me on the comment section below and uh, now let's move to the monitoring part and uh, I was talking about web alerts so here you will monitor web alerts and uh, latest data before latest data I want to tell you something about trigger and item whole Zabbix is based on these two things item and trigger and uh, what is item item is a kind of thing for example you want to monitor disk usage on your server right so item will uh, hit the server and uh, get the information uh, how much disk is right now how much disk is right now for example this uh, action is repeating itself after 60 seconds 40 seconds whatever you can configure right it is configurable so item is getting information from that server that right now disk percentage is 70% 60% anything xyz okay so now what is the role of trigger so trigger will decide when to raise a alert so it is just a kind of threshold you can say that trigger is a threshold so you can decide 80 percent okay let's set an alert so that functionality is on trigger and i have covered this basic of item and trigger in my previous video 
you can go through that video uh, by clicking the i button or you can also watch in the playlist videos and uh, graphs yeah graphs are uh, most uh, main thing in this uh, let's click on monitoring graphs here you can select the servers right now we have only zabbix server as a group and uh, zabbix as a host so it's only showing the single one and you want to see the graph of cpu jumps okay here is the graph you can see and uh, here is the timing for example this will show you five minute graph means latest five minutes just and this will six hours and this will three days and this will seven day and this will all in the meanwhile you can see that my server was uh, shut down so no graphs and if you see all you can see this only so let's just see the three hours graph or one day graph or three day graph. it's on up to you <coughs> and uh, after that you can see various graphs this is disk space usage you can say that green is available and uh, red is used okay and uh, so you can just uh, do the monitoring from here and uh, the main in this is this last 20 issues uh, for example you have set uh, hundreds of triggers right and uh, in case now you are 10 uh, alerts are your which are in active mode so you will see 10 here one by one and uh, okay first i want to show you some kind of uh, yeah but i was talking about latest data so when an item fetch information from the server that is going to show here right on the basis of this the trigger will take action so i just want uh, you to please go through all the previous videos and uh, set up uh, your Zabbix environment okay so after setting up the whole the environment uh, you should move to the next video in case you have doubt in this video you can ask in the comment thank you